Recursive functions are actually useful. You know, when you're learning to code, you're like, why am I learning this? When am I ever gonna use this? The answer is almost never, but when you need it, it works. This is the first time I've ever had to use a recursive function in anything I've built, but it's perfect for what I need it for. I'm receiving an object from a GraphQL response, so it's a nested object, and I need to turn all the values into URL parameters. The easiest and simplest strategy is to go by key value pairs, each one, one by one, and just creating the parameter string and then combining them all together. Now that works technically, but it'll break with different scenarios. If there's a null value, it screws up your string. If not all the key value pairs are returned, messes up your string. Making updates means adding lines or removing lines. And it takes up a bunch of lines in your code. That's the strategy I went with just because I was lazy and I wanted to see the app work. And then I tested it again with different data and obviously it broke. And it turns out recursive functions are perfect for this. It's a function that calls itself. It checks every key value pair, checks to see if it's not null and an object. And if it is, it creates the URL parameter and then appends it at the end of the URL string and just builds from there. It's like seven lines of code. If I need to make any updates, I just change that one thing. If there's any missing data in the object, it doesn't get included in the URL parameters. I know it'll work every time. It's one of those specialized tools that you'll never pull out until that one moment when you absolutely need it.